I know that you've created ad, video ads before. Yes, very different. Have they all been successful? Uh, most of them have not. Why? <laughs> because there was no, at the end of the day, there was no strategy behind it. Um, I think the, the first night, I think, I know, the first video I did, I didn't even address pain points. I, I tried to wing it like I do like 90% of my videos. Yeah, you don't do that with an ad video. No, no, it, it needs to be structured <laughs> for sure. It, it should be written <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of scripts in general for myself mm -hmm. other people some it it, it works for needed yeah the most. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a scripted guy it's uh, driven uh, a bit my business partner and uh, former employers nuts uh, because it's just wait yeah, from the heart stick to it here yeah but uh, but no that's not something that, that that's not the way I it's make it's a horrible habit <laughs> it, it is yeah yeah and so uh, but with that it, uh, an ad is different an ad or even sales videos are, you know, where there's a very specific uh, end goal in mind as mm -hmm. far as what you're trying to drive someone to do. Right. That's really, it, it needs to be scripted. It needs to not just be bullet pointed out. So given the experience that you have with ads, what's the, or do you have a process that you take like customers through or clients through yeah. on how to make that happen? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I absolutely do. And, and this is something it's not something that I just came up with, I guess. It's something that I learned over time. So a little bit about my background. Uh, you know, I spent almost 10 years uh, working with a company called Infusionsoft, which is a, they do sales and marketing software uh, for small businesses. So both working with my clients and working with uh, Infusionsoft. Okay. Was accountable for, uh, you know, I've been accountable for millions of dollars worth of, of advertising okay. budget and the strategy that went into that that messaging and so you can't spend money like that and have something flop right no people that's frowned <laughs> upon and people even if you angry. even if you test too many things and too many don't work in a row mm -hmm. you get in trouble I lose your job yeah it, or or your business or if that's it's, if it's your company <laughs> exactly <laughs> um and so with that i i kind of developed a framework uh that when i follow this recipe it it works right and so that's kind of what, what I want to walk you through. At the end of the day, um, over the different strategies that I've, I've done for advertising, video still works better than just about anything. Yes, it does. Uh, it's just a matter of having the framework that engages with people, that, that connects with them and connects you to them, humanizes your brand, mm -hmm. and then drives them to take action. I like it. Um, and so that's what we're going to be walking through. So. Uh, let's go ahead and, and throw a full screen of, of the different, the five different steps for a second here so you can see it on a visual. And the first thing that you want to do is grab their attention. And the, the way that you do that, you know, depending on the business, sometimes just call people out directly. And I've, I've seen that work very effective. Attention, small businesses. Attention. Done, sold. Right. <laughs> right. Do you want to be a speaker? Do of you, course. you know, and do you? Call it out directly and, and grab their attention. Uh, then the next thing is addressing the pain point or the problem that you specifically can help them solve for. And I like to say you want to, to some degree, agitate that problem. Do you have uh, an example of what that looks like or sounds like? Um, yeah. So it, let's say someone let's say someone's having a, a tough time creating video ads. Okay, right? there we and are. Just to make, make it easy, you know, a, you know. Creating video ads can be easy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but when you do this and you spend money on this and you you know you're 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 kind of like I said just agitated. Oh, like you do. Uh, how do they do? Like the Shamwell? Are you tired of leaving streaks in your car? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that, that makes sense. That kind of is what you're doing. And you're right. Just, you're just agitating the problem. You know, you, you got to get video. You got to get camera equipment. You got to get lighting. Mm -hmm. You got to get your script down. You got to get you know. And, and it just goes through, these are the, the different things that, okay. that uh, you know, people, people are feeling. And people who fit the right client that makes are going to be feeling those, those problems. So surely you know what, your, you know, what, what problems you solve for. Uh, if not, a little plug on, on whynotresults.com. We'll throw a link down as well. Uh, you, can, you can download our brainstormer guide, which helps you come up with uh, different uh, called actions and lead magnets like and things like that, uh, and how to how to frame those out. So grab their attention, introduce the problem, and agitate it, 
and then build a connection and then you want to kind of transition into the solution and not an awkward like stop next phase like no okay. no it should flow smoothly this is why you write this stuff down that's right before you go live on camera <laughs> yeah no no one hates reading a teleprompter more than me but uh when it comes to ads like you, now you kind of need I use, to i use a teleprompter yeah yeah um that's stuff that we've talked about off off camera so again the the third step is the you know connecting with your audience and then transitioning into the solution it's sort of the the, the transition phase and a good rule of thumb to follow is the feel felt found oh i like that right the three s that sounds like my report card in fifth grade but anyways <laughs> i digress and so with that you know hey i you know i either i've felt this problem that you're feeling you know i've, I've been there or i've had a lot of clients right um, feel that and and I've you know I've taken it upon myself to create the or I have found that this is what works mm -hmm. and going from there um, and that is just it's a it's a simple transition into it's fluid it's normal conversation that's right and that's what it should be because you you're not sitting there with them and so you're just having a 30 minute to one or 30 second to one minute conversation mm -hmm. with them um, and hopefully they're going to to do do something and then it's a smooth transition into the actual solution okay. that you, you provide. So, you know, hey, I go here and fill out this form and here's what you're gonna get. You know, I created this training, this free class for, right. for people who free. do this. Free is a great word. Uh, I videos. created this ebook. I created this. That's another one. Ebooks are great. They're, they're Legions, common. yes. Again, yeah. <laughs> you want ideas on this? The brainstormer guide, we'll, we'll get you there. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, addressing and being very specific about the call to action. Click the link below. Click the link below. Yeah, fill out the form. I, that's one thing that I've heard a lot of people, uh, I guess that's a mistake that I've seen a lot of people make, is they don't want to be too pushy. Hey, this is the time, but the, when you're paying for exposure in front of people, uh, yes. it's the time to be a little bit pushy and, and just tell them what to do. People, people want to be pushed. <laughs>